This is Josh Anderson with Bagpipe Master. Today we're going to learn Noah Wa to Baidawa. I've had a few requests for that. And let's go ahead and get started. Uh, actually, before we get started, if you'd like to follow along, I'd encourage you to grab some free sheet music at bagpipemaster.com. You can go ahead and download it there. And it's also a good idea to grab your metronome. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'd like to start by uh, just dissecting some of the sheet music first. Let's take a look at that. Let's just hum through the first two measures. Dun dun da 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 dum da dum da 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 So basically, all we need to focus on for these are we have a grip, a C doubling, a burl, and another C doubling with a few grace notes in there. First, the grip, we go from A, B, and then we go down to a low G, play a D grace note, continue with the low G, and then pop up to the C. And then we go from the C to the E, E, da, 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 mm, bum. So make sure as you go from the B, you play a low G, and then go to the A. And those grace notes are easy, obviously. And then we'll play a C doubling, which consists of a G grace note and a D grace note while playing a C. Then we go down to the low A, and keep in mind this one's actually an E grace note as we go down to the low A. We play a burl. That'll be easier to show on the actual chanter. Up to another C doubling, and that's the first two measures. The song starts on the low A. You notice that's a grip, so we start on the B, we drop to the low G, play a D grace note, continue with the low G, and then go up to the C. Make sure you go from the B on that last movement to the low G, and then to the A. Then we go up to the C doubling. That's just a G grace note, D grace note played on a C. Then we drop down to the low A by playing a low, by playing an E. So you have to, as you go to the low A, you have to play an E grace note. Let's, let me show that. And then as you're on the low A, go ahead and play a burl, which to do a burl, there's a few ways you can do it. Sometimes people slide down and slide back. Other times people will slide and flick it. I prefer to do the latter. Then you go ahead up to the C doubling. And then once again, the C doubling consisted of a G, and a D grace note while playing a C. Okay, for the third and fourth measure, continuing from the C up to the da da di da 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 di da 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 da. So this should all look pretty easy. Uh, these are simply some A strikes, and you play those by just brushing the A finger across the hole. This is an a F doubling, but since we're coming from the G going down to the F, we can only play the second half of it. So it's just like a half F doubling, and that's just played by playing an F, a G grace note, and continuing with the F. This is an E doubling, where you simply play in a G grace note while you're on the E, and then an F grace note, continuing with the E. Let's go play that on the chanter. The third and fourth measure, we, prior to that, we played the C doubling. So, going on that third measure, pretty simple, we just play an A, a an A strike, another strike, going to the G, and then the F doubling, 
as you go from the G to the F, you play the G, play an F, and then a grace note, a G grace note. And then the last measure. And that doubling you saw there was, on the E, it was a G grace note, an F grace note, on the E note, which caused it to be an E doubling. Let me just play through those two measures again. That's the third and fourth measure. Continuing to the next line, uh, we go da 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 bum bum ba da da bra da di di di. So to play this, once again, we go and play a grip. And we've done this before. We played a grip up here, but instead we're playing it from an A da dun dun da, and it should sound like two distinct notes there. The G cut up with a D grace note, continue with the G, and then popping up to the A. Play a strike on the A. Go down to the C. Throw on D. Da, mm, ba, da. And to play the throw on D, we go to a low G, to a D, and then back, you play just a little C for the throw on D. Continuing on, an E doubling. We've done that before, same type of thing. And then we play a strike on the E where we go E, drop the E finger, which causes it to go to low A, and then you lift the E finger and it goes back to E. Moving on to the next line, uh, we we're continuing from the So we've already learned the grip before in the first measure. The only difference is this time, we play it from a high A, we, jot, we cover all the holes of the chanter, play a D grace note, continue to play a low G, and then we pop up to the A, and make sure you pop your little finger down here up as well. Let me show that one more time. And then we continue with an A strike. So those next two movements, we went down to the C, played a throw on D by dropping to the low G, go to the D, and then you drop the D finger to make it a throw on D. Let me show that again. Continuing on. So we just played an E doubling, which is a G grace note and an F grace note. An E strike. Last two measures. G grace note on the F. So these are all going to get their own beat, which is really easy. Dum, dum, da, da. And that's just an A with a, it's an A doubling. So you basically play an A, brush your A finger over the hole, and continue with the A. And this is very similar to these type of doublings. And this, the only difference is, instead of playing it on a C, we play it on a B. So it's a G, D grace note, while playing an E. And then you dip down to the low G and pop up to the A. And that's it. We are so close to knowing the entire tune. The last two measures are actually pretty easy. So we go and play an F with the G grace note. So to break that down, just a G grace note on the F, an E, and the A doubling, you go to an A. And then you simply, notice you just simply strike the back. That makes it a doubling. Down to the C. 
B doubling. And that B doubling consisted of a G grace note and a D grace note. Let me play those two measures one more time. And that's the tune. Okay, now that we've dissected the different pieces, let's go ahead and play through the entire tune. I'd like to do that with the metronome this time. Um, let's set it to, we'll just try S60 beats. And, all right, here it is. No wah to bite a wah. Okay, and it actually repeats, but I think that gives you enough to go off of. Thank you so much. Turn that off. Anyway, thank you so much for watching another Bagpipe Master tutorial. If you enjoyed this, um, look forward to other ones in the future. And also be sure to share it and like it on, on Facebook and also on YouTube. Thank you so much.